I'm a great listener, really good with empathy and first sympathy and all that, but I hate people. I had a friend who would always come to me in their time of need, time of need being a rather generous phrasing for whatever their problems were, and friend being a rather generous word to describe our relationship. They'd start the conversation with, I'm sad, or a deep sigh, or sometimes over text they'd send a colon right opening parentheses. Sometimes they would actually need to talk to me because they'd used up all their other resources, maybe their actual friends were tired of it or something, but usually it was just to make me feel bad for them. And I did. I felt bad. That's why I hated it. I felt bad and couldn't do anything about it because I didn't know how to do anything about it. They'd say I'm sad and I'd say I'm sorry that sucks and I'm sorry. I'd ask how I could help if I could do anything. I've heard so many different approaches from TV characters telling each other to not break the trust by telling someone else, to not suggest ways to be happier, to not leave them alone. They'd always respond with, don't say you're sorry, or yeah it does suck, or yeah you can't do anything. I can't do anything? Then why did you talk to me in the first place? People are egomaniacs, it's why we have birthday parties and graduations and other celebrations of mediocrity. They want to feel like they've accomplished something, they want to be at the center of attention. Then I wanted to be at the center of attention. I was empty and couldn't go out anymore and lost interest in my hobbies. I didn't want to be the center of attention, I wanted people to notice on their own. I can't ask for help, I can't be the one to text someone a colon right opening parentheses. It's disgusting, it's why I hate people. I guess I was never really good at listening, empathy versus sympathy, I don't know the difference. I could feel sad for that friend, but I couldn't understand what it was like to want to text someone an emoji and expect them to... I guess expect them to help. Pure empathy is impossible because no one can experience everything and anyone who claims to have empathy is just as bad as me. Me, the person that hated a friend who was falling into a void and the only lifeline in their reach was sending a text message with two symbols. I hate people, but not as much as I hate myself.